Veterans Day is Monday, November 11th, and there are several events the organization Vet Events Tally is putting on that day to honor our veterans, including the Vet Fest 5K and One Mile Fun Run. And joining us this morning to talk about it is the president of vetting, Joe West. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me, Abby. So we've been talking about different events that are going on on uh, Monday, November 11th, and Vet Fest 5K One Mile. That starts everything out. Registration for that opens, I think, at 7 o'clock on Monday morning. Um, the the uh, fun run starts at 8 o'clock, the 5K starts at 8.30, and the award ceremony is at 9.15. That, that gets the day started. This is our third year for the 5K. This is the first year for the fun run. We haven't done that before. And uh, we're, we're anticipating a few hundred runners coming over and joining us, and we're going to have a really great time, like, like always. Uh, uh, lots of things going on all day long on Veterans Day now here in the Big Bend area. With the 5K, what is the mile like? Or what is uh, the, the run like? The run is, the run is a, it's a tough run. It's up and down some hills and runs up through the Myers Park uh, neighborhood, comes back through around uh, under, under the railroad overpass on Monroe. Um, it's it's a it's a tough course. It's it's not not all downhill. That's if it was downhill, I would consider doing it. But <laughs> but uh, it is a it is a pretty good course, and the runners seem to enjoy it. They like the challenge of it. Um, we've got some uh, uh, gifts for everybody this year. Everybody that participates will get a red dog tag that says VetFest 5K and winner on it. Um, we're trying to trying to appeal to more people and build that run. This is, like I said, our third year for it, and uh, it's, it gets bigger every year. So it's something that we really have enjoyed doing, and, and has had a good positive reception from the community, and we're uh, we're thrilled to be part of it. And adding the one mile for those of us who are not wanting to run Th those up of the us, hill, right? Those of us that are a little more physically challenged can do the one mile fun run, and uh, it starts at eight o'clock. And all proceeds, of course, from the run and the, the fun run and the five k go to help offset the cost of the Veterans Day Parade and the other activities that we provide around that, around that parade. Are you guys encouraging people to wear uh, something in particular, wearing, of course, certain colors or costumes? Well, actually, they get a shirt that's, that's a white T-shirt that'll have red and blue on it, so they'll be patriotic looking from the start. Um, but uh, we, we haven't had a costume challenge yet, and I never thought of it until you just said it, and I'm like, ooh, what a good idea. So, so that may be something we add to the, to the process next year, is, is that we'll have the patriotic costume contest for the runners. That'll, I hadn't thought of that. That's good. Thanks, Abby. I'm glad I came out. It's early in the morning, right? Sometimes we get our ideas and thoughts going, but uh, for people who want to participate in either of the runs, uh, how much does it cost? Uh, it's $15 in advance, $20 the day of the race. They can go online to Vet Events Tally um, to register. And uh, or active.com, which is a place where all runners are pretty familiar with. Okay. But uh, just go to the website. It'll give you all the information you need. Uh, we'll be posting the course later this week, so everybody will be able to see it, and maybe some of them will want to go run it first. Um, looking forward to a good turnout again this year. Absolutely. So next time we'll be uh, next couple of weeks we'll be talking about the parade and all the different events that are going around. But you can go to vetevents.tally.org for more information. Thank you, Joe, for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me, Abby. Good to see you. <laughs>